Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 13th. This is just a daily preview of what's to come. We're just going to see what comes up. This reading may or may not be for you. This is a message that my guides are giving me to deliver to somebody. I don't know who. It's not sign specific. It's not time specific. Okay? It's just a preview of something to come. Let's see what we got. Intended for around the 13th of July. Wow. Okay, we have a Nine of Pentacles reversed. This is somebody who needs to take action. You need to take action. I mean, you need to, there's no grace. There's insecurity here. There's a lack of uh, gratitude. There's a lack of self-sufficiency. It's like I, somebody may be not be taking very good care of themselves. Or they might think that they don't have the skills to take care of themselves. Or they may be fearful of going their own way. They may be dealing with somebody who hold, that holds them down. Somebody that doesn't see their value. Somebody that lowers their self-esteem. Right? So we have somebody here who is needing to take action. They need to find the discipline to realize that, you know, another person doesn't complete you. You have the skills to take care of your business. You need that you have the skills to take care of yourself. If you have to rely on another person to take care of you, then you're going to need to find your strength to take care of yourself. Five of Wands reversed. There's uh, reluctance. There's reluctance here. There's reluctance to go your own way. There's reluctance to separate. So it's like somebody is wanting to separate, but they have reluctance to do so. It's like, oh, you know, what if I don't have enough money? What if I can't take care of myself? What if I end up alone? You know? Now, Five of Wands re reverses. There would be relief. It's like you want relief, right? You don't want to, you don't want to play this game anymore. You don't want to you don't want to have to compete all the time. But you got to find your strength to go your own way. If you don't want to compete, you need to find your strength in your discipline and your self-worth and your self-value. Her uh, hermit. This is going within time of introspection. This is going your own way. This is taking time out, taking a time out to reflect, to become aware, restraining, solitude. So it feels like we have somebody here that is reluctant to separate, but deep down they really want to. It's like they need to step back and focus. priestess absolutely it's a time of solitude it really is it's a time to go within and refocus replant listen listen to that little inner voice silence silence your mind through stillness so it feels like we have somebody that needs to step away they need a time out. They need to take a break. To really, really listen. Step out of the chaos. Step out of the game. Step out of the competition for a minute. Go within. Remember that the only person that completes you is you. Another person does not complete you. Oh my God. We have somebody here who is deceiving themselves. Lying to themselves. Not taking action. Seriously. Not taking action. Unwilling. Unwilling to listen unwilling to take a time out, unwilling to even think clearly. It's like just going so fast that they don't even know where they're going. A 
unwilling to listen to the divine connection that is trying to speak with them. There's a big divine connection here with these three cards, and it's a big one. These are all majors, and this is universe trying to speak with you, trying to get you to slow down, trying to get you to think. Think, please think. Take a minute to really think about this, whatever it is that you're thinking about. I think it has to do with independence. It has to do with separation. What's that silence doing for you? What's going through your mind? You need to take a minute alone to think about your future. To think about what action you really need to take. Yeah, somebody's lost their focus. They've lost their concentration. That is the meaning of this card. Holding on to a dead end. No joke. It's not going to grow. It's not going to go anywhere. There's nothing solid. There's nothing secure about it. But it feels good. And it looks good. But it's not real. You're at that crossroads. You're at the crossroads right now. You have an opportunity to choose another path. But you have to choose wisely. You have to look beyond where you're at right now. You have to really look at the possibilities. Open yourself up to what's beyond the horizon, to what you can't see. You have to trust. You have to have faith. You have to make a decision. Do you want to stay where you're at? Is that where you want to be? Is it? There's a hell of a lot of conflict and there's a hell of a lot of competition. Is that what you want? Is that how you want to live your life? Or, or, or do you want something more serene? Do you want something more peaceful? Do you want something more abundant? What's it going to be? The choice is yours. Maybe you like the conflict all the time. Maybe you thrive on conflict. I don't know. Maybe it's time to plant your seeds someplace else. There's no more growth here. You've got all you're going to get. Sitting around worrying about it isn't going to do any good. Why don't you just go someplace else? Somebody is really confused, hanging on, needing to see something from a new res new perspective. And it's like the universe is trying to nudge a person in a new direction, trying to get somebody to listen. Time out, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. Think about this for a second. Is this... Do you want to keep doing this? Seriously. Get real. We got somebody here who's not being realistic at all. Sacrificing themselves needlessly because they're resisting change. You have to face struggle to find peace. It's just the way it is. It's just the way it is. True peace, true happiness, true abundance. You have to struggle through what doesn't serve you. If it doesn't bring abundance to you now, do you think it's really going to change in the future? Somebody has given their power away. And they're fine with it. 
It's okay. You take it. It's yours. My power is in your hands. Go ahead. You can have it. Somebody is powerless because they won't take time to refocus and replan and follow their own truth. I mean, come on now. Well, we have the judgment reversed. A miss somebody's made a bad judgment call. They haven't been honoring their truth. I said it before the card came out. Somebody has not been honoring their truth. They have been not allowing the div divine to connect with them. They've been not listening. Unaware, asleep, unconscious. Refusing, refusing to wake up. Refusing to forgive, refusing to release. And the universe is saying, wake up, wake up. Stop lying to yourself. And stop pointing the finger at the other person. Because this is on you. You are the one that is lying to yourself. It's not the other person. We have somebody here that is holding on to a dead end because they are afraid to release fear of the unknown. It's time to take a time out and really think about this. So I feel like the 13th is a day of reflection and introspection. Do you want to keep playing this game? Because you have an opportunity to step into a whole new life, a whole new path. At this point, this is the crossroads. You have the choice right now to go in another direction. It might not be easy. You might have to start completely over. You probably will have to start completely over. But the wisdom that you will gain from accepting this challenge will make you all that much more wiser. Trust me, it will. This is part of the script. This change that you are resisting is part of the fucking script. But we got somebody here who is totally unaware with the judgment reversed that they are holding on to a karmic situation. And if they just took a minute to think about this and really, really think about it and really wake up, really, really listen, I mean, really, they would realize. So I feel like the 13th is a day of contemplation. It's a day of enlightenment. Okay. It's a day of receiving messages from the divine. Should you choose to listen, you will receive these messages through stillness, through silence. Should you choose 
to go there. Allow it. If you don't allow it, you won't receive the messages because you're not allowing it. You don't want to hear it. It's a day of silence, it's a day of stillness. What do I do next? Where do I go next? There's no growth here. What's my next what's my next plan of action? That's what it's about. And the goosebumps just went all through me. In the flow, we get this one almost all the time. In the flow. Everything is smooth sailing. Let go of the shore, enter the flow. You're moving into a period of gracious ease and flow. All is unfolding perfectly and with good timing. Everything is falling into place because you aren't resisting the drift. Enjoy the ride. This isn't the time to control the events in your life. Let the Creator support you. You don't have to do it all by yourself. The glory of the universe flows through you. It's not always easy to let go of the shore. However, this card is urging you to take a risk and let go. Let go. When you are truly in the flow, you don't need to push or exert to make things happen. You can flow around any obstacle. If there's a situation in your life that isn't falling into place, let it go. I don't know if you can see it, but it says that, okay? It says that. You can't see it because the goddamn thing won't zoom in. But anyway, I'm not going to read the book probably ever, maybe. When you are truly in the flow, you don't need to push. I'm talking about my camera book. When you are truly in the flow, you don't need to push or exert effort to make things happen. You can flow around any obstacle. If there's a situation in your life that isn't falling into place, let it go. It's not the right time. When you're in a state of flow, you aren't pushing the river to go faster. And because somebody has been going way too freaking fast. And you aren't swimming against it. You just enjoy the ride. If you aren't feeling the smooth current of life, it might mean that you're trying to control situations in your life or being too self-critical or too judgmental. The way to move into flow is through gratitude and appreciation and by allowing others and spirit to support and help you. And this totally sums up the reading. The spirit. Spirits are trying to guide you. The universe is trying to guide you. We got somebody here that is moving so fast, you know, based on what society says, that they are missing the whole picture. What do you need to let go of to bring peace to your life? That is what the 13th is about. And this is also a card of acceptance. This is lack of acceptance. We got somebody here that is refusing to accept change. This is change. Don't you think it's time? Good luck.